Jerome Street, and that's the Black Cloister logo right there, the chalice. Cloister? Okay, how much for parking? Ten. Ten bucks? Okay. Is there a cash machine? Just park right here? Alright. I kept it in first gear. <clears throat> yeah, if you put it in neutral, it'd be like, goodbye. <laughs> is amazing. I wish I could have gotten some recordings of talking to the owner. He's really friggin' cool. He uh, still does, still acts as a minister for a local church, the Lutheran pastor. And uh, very cool guy, also into video games. So we had some good conversations about stuff going all the way back to uh, <laughs> the 80s before graphics with text adventures. And uh, it was good fun. So, oh. Oh. That's why I never use the kill switch. There we go. It's like my dad didn't let the battery die completely. The interior, as you might have seen from the photos and the video, they've got some really cool murals by uh, a local company. I will try to link a card or uh, annotate their website. Silence, you funny fool! They do some really cool stuff for the local Toledo Zoo. Uh, I'm not sure about the art museum, but a lot of sculpture. Really cool stuff. <laughs> but that mural is really, really, really nice. It's based on, I think he said, 14th century um, church wood block, sort of lithograph style stuff. <laughs> and um, the rest of the building was well maintained by the current, by the owner of the building. And they didn't have to do much with the brick aside from seal everything up for. Uh, restaurant standards and they had to seal the ceiling the roof and then everything but the brick and the, the ceiling beams I think they had to uh, add in so they did a lot of restoration a lot of building in all of the woodwork you see in those uh, clips was done by the owner and the people setting up and they got a really good deal in the building, so it sounds like their business has been taken off, and it's a, oh my god. That double IPA was excellent. I, uh, <laughs> if I lived out here, man, I would be stopping there at least once a week. Uh, reasonable prices on their beers, and cool t-shirts. I need to stop back and get my growler. Because I was a Kickstarter backer. such a friggin' beast, and I need to get over. Let's 
so yeah the uh the building the interior the storefront everything is really cool and refurbished i really like their logos the owner was really cool to talk to waitresses are really cool man it's like if you if you live in the greater toledo area or anywhere near here it'd be well worthwhile stopping in for a beer very cool atmosphere and the whole idea of black cloister is that it was founded by a lutheran pastor and people of faith so it's kind of interesting in that respect i mean if you're an atheist you got to at least respect people you got to respect people with a passion for brewing actually putting at putting into action and the and the, the owner actually said that the congregation is who pushed for uh, him to start the business in the first place. <laughs> so I mean, imagine that, a bunch of Christians wanted to start up a drinking establishment. I mean, there's nothing, nothing irreligious about drinking. The monks back in the medieval days used to brew mead and uh, kept the bees for their local towns. So there's some history behind it. I bet if they are whining and bumbling, but, you're uh, finished here, do you understand? I mean, you hear in the news how conservative and uptight Christians are, but then you meet people like him and it's like, man, <laughs> some groups are just being horribly unrepresented or misrepresented. Uh, Black Cloister is one of those places when I come back to Toledo to visit family, I'll definitely be stopping in for a beer. Good conversation, good atmosphere. The downtown area is really coming together, and it's good to see Toledo gradually growing. West Coast. Time to root.